Vice Chairman. Disappointing, I thought I was Chairman of Vice. Hi, my name is Mark Craig and I'm the committee rep. I'm on a committee about committees until they commit me. My name is Kay Kelly and I'm the first floor rep for the council and I will take your suggestions but I'll be the first to forget them. My name is Ruth Mary Angle. I'm the second floor rep it's not that I won't listen. I just can't hear you. Hello, my name's Bernice Courtney. I'm the third floor rep. I'll listen to your complaints if you'll listen to mine. My name is Joan Shirk. I was elected as the fourth floor representative, but I only have two flooring. <laughs> the virtual stage. It's a COVID-19 poem read by Lorraine Baird. Twas a month before Christmas, 2020. Twas a month before Christmas and all through the town, people wore masks, 
that covered their frown. The frown had begun way back in the spring when a global pandemic changed everything. They called it Corona, but unlike the beer, it didn't bring good times and it didn't bring good cheer. Contagious and deadly, this virus spread fast like a wildfire that starts when fueled by gas. Airplanes were grounded, travel was banned, borders were closed across air, sea, and land. As the world entered lockdown to flatten the curve, the economy halted and folks lost their verve. From March to July, we rode the first wave. People stayed home, they tried to behave. When summer emerged, the lockdown was lifted, but away from caution, many folks drifted. Now it's November and cases are spiking. Wave two has arrived, much to our disliking. Frontline workers, doctors and nurses, try to save people from riding in hearses. This virus is awful, this COVID-19. There isn't a cure, there is no vaccine. It's true that this year has had sadness aplenty. We'll never forget this year, 2020. And just around the corner, the holiday season, but why be merry? Is there even one reason? To decorate the house and put up the tree when no one will see it, no one but me. But outside my window, the snow gently falls and I think to myself, Let's deck the halls. So, so I gather the ribbon, the garland and bows. As I play those old carols, my happiness grows. Christmas ain't canceled and neither is hope. If we lean on each other, I know we can cope. That was great, Lorraine. It's always tough to be the first act of the show. <laughs> Next up, the Sundial Mass Singers. Kay, Marilyn, Marion, Marg, May, Catherine, Jean, Ruth, Mary, and Bev with their rendition of The Happy Wanderer.
our judge, Ruth Mary. Ruth Mary, how are you feeling about how the show's going so far? Has it started yet? <laughs> I would like to introduce you all to our next act, Fred Cod, performing on the street where you live. the male strippers have had to cancel. Put <laughs> your hands together for our fourth act of the talent show, Adele Downey singing Alice Blue Gown.
How about yourself, Judge Mark? The lawyer says I don't have to answer that question. <laughs> now we're moving on to the young man, Bane, reading the poem titled, When I Am Old. When I'm an old woman, I shall wear purple, with a red hat, which doesn't go and doesn't suit me. And I shall spend my pension on brandy and summer gloves and satin sandals and say, we've no money for butter. I shall sit down on the pavement when I'm tired and gobble up samples in shops <clears throat> and press alarm bells and run my stick along the public railings and make up for the sobriety of my youth. I shall go out in my slippers in the rain and pick the flowers in other people's gardens and learn to spit. You can wear terrible shirts and grow more fat and eat three pounds of sausages at a go, my, or only bread and pickles for a week, and hoard pens and pencils and beer mats and things in boxes. But now we must have clothes that keep us dry and pay our rent and not swear in the street. And set a good example for the children. We must have friends to dinner and read the paper. But maybe I ought to practice a little now so people who know me are not too shocked or surprised when suddenly I'm old and start to wear purple. Let's ask judge number four, Bernice, how she's enjoying our talented resident. I didn't see too much. The bathroom lineup was so long. <laughs> <laughs> the cat's out of the bag for the next act. Mary and Bennett is at it again right meow. Come out, come out, come out, my pretty kitty. We will sing a little bit of too. Meow, meow. Come out, come out, come out, my pretty kitty. We will serenade the moon. Meow, meow. When the folks came home last night at twelve or thereabout, they locked the door and they forgot to put me out. Come me out, come me out, come me out, my pretty kitten. Now, not now. You liking what you're hearing, Kay? Well, it sounds great, but I wish I could just see them. I don't know where they are. <laughs> For your listening pleasure, Sundial's talented piano extraordinaire, Ruth Mary is ready to play.
drink, the show would be fabulous. <laughs> Here we go again this year with our boot scoot boogieing seniors led by the fearless leader, Bev Baker. Let's see your moves, Bev, Flora, Lorraine, Marg, and Marilyn. Enjoy.